Hello again, I'm Matthew Gore from thewetpen.com, and I have something special for you today. Well, actually, I have something special for me today. For you, it might just be another unboxing video, but this is a big box of ink that I ordered from China, and that was much harder than I expected. It literally took me months to figure out how to do it at a reasonable price, which is, of course, the whole point. Now, some of these inks are readily available in the USA, and some of them are available on sites like AliExpress. But the same inks that cost $22 plus shipping on AliExpress cost about 21 RMB on Taobao, which is a little over $3. And some of the Pen BBS inks that I got were even less expensive. And I'm not going to spend $30 on a random Chinese ink brand with a nonsensical name just because I like the bottle, but I'd happily spend $3 on it. But then of course, there's the shipping, and unfortunately, most of the shipping agents in China that normally would forward a Taobao order to the USA will not ship liquids. Or if they will, like Taobao Focus, they'll charge an astronomical amount. They quoted me a price of almost $250 to ship this package to me on top of the commission that they also charge. So I had to use an agent to make the order and a different agent to ship to the USA, but that's another story, and one that probably only about three of you actually care about, so I'll move on with this. But I'll say that the cost of shipping ended up adding about $7 to the price of each bottle, but it could have been less. Anyway, let me open this thing up. I'll get this documentation out of the way. And okay, inside of the first box are three additional boxes, which is how the first shipping agent packed them and the second one should have repacked them, but didn't, okay. With these bales along with my ink syringes and little sample vials on my desk, things would look pretty bad for me if the police dropped by. Anyway, I'll start with this little box. Inside we have... Ah yes, this is a Pen BBS ink. Man, there's some glare. This is their Four Seasons line of ink that's a lot like the Sailor Monyo series even with similar bottles and a botanical theme, but these cost about $6 on Taobao. So I didn't save a ton on these, but a little bit. Packaged nicely, no leaks, that's good. This is another one in the same line, but it's number 519. And here's another one. I love the label art on these. This looks like a blue lotus, maybe? It's number 512. And here is number 514. And then number 507. And finally, this one is number 515. Really beautiful label art on this one too. Really, they're all beautiful bottles. Okay, moving on to the next little box. Ah, what's this? It looks like they enclosed a free sample of some kind of testing paper. Feels like vellum. But I didn't know it was there, and I sliced into it with my knife. Excellent. And what's under here? Is this another box? Okay. Let's see what else I can slice into. Ah. This doesn't look good. First, there's a little bottle of ink. This is actually a free sample. Nice thought, but I'd rather have not paid to ship it. It's a duplicate of one of the other bottles I got. 
And another free gift. This is a pen box, and it says here, write your story and mine. Sounds like a lot of extra work, really. Suddenly reminds me of working on group projects in high school. But inside, we have a fake Lamy Safari. It doesn't actually say Lamy on it, where it normally would, so not strictly counterfeit, I guess. Just a general stolen design. This will be good for testing inks of dubious quality. Anyway, on to the inks. Here's a pen BBS ink. This one is Tolstoy. And there's some magenta ink on the bottom, which is a little hint at things to come. I think I'll leave this in the box for now until I can deal with some of the mess. And this is not supposed to look like this. Find your original self. I have to find some paper towels first. Anyway, that's one of these Become Fish ink bottles. And here's another one. I really do like this color. Ah, this should say pre-shipping volume of 50 milliliters. This is a bit of a surprise. The two boxes underneath are in much better shape. That's good. I'll open these up. And this one has also leaked a little bit inside, not too bad. The label's a little messy, but it's still legible. And the second one is in good shape. These Hope and Legacy inks were actually what prompted me to buy a few of these Become Fish inks, despite the absurd names. They're supposed to be multi-shading inks, and I'm really excited to see how they look in real life. I'll make some ink swabs of these in a minute here. And despite the terrible caps, I really like these bottles. They're sort of Pilot Iroshizuku style, but with rounded shoulders, which are nice. Though, of course, they don't have the little filling well in the bottom. Anyway, let's see how bad this looks inside. Huh, okay. The label is remarkably clean. And the bottle is still pretty full. That's a nice surprise. And now this one. Crazy. The label is actually in good shape. Just a couple of little smudges on it, and it's a much nicer label. And this one was one of the cheapest bottles of ink that I bought. It's just plain purple. Nothing special about it, but it cost about $2, and I just couldn't help myself. With these leaky bottles, though, I think I'll skip this brand in the future. I guess it's safe to open this Pen BBS ink. This is Tolstoy Pen BBS 224. I love the art on these Pen BBS bottles. This looks like it might be a scene from Anna Karenina, or maybe it's from War and Peace, I'm not sure. Okay, now let's move on to the third and final box, if I can get this thing open. Aha! Here's the final bottle of Become Fish ink that I ordered. Another one that I liked the look of. It's called Soul, and it's supposed to be a vivid, true blue ink with moderately strong sheen. It has a nice looking box with no signs of leakage. Ah, but there was some leakage. And right on the ugly label, too. It looks like a thumbprint. I bet this was opened by customs. I'm suddenly glad that they didn't bother with making a nice label for this one. Though it was supposed to have a nicer label. Okay, enough of that. The rest of this box is filled with Pen BBS inks. And these are all sealed, so I'll show you the actual bottles in a few moments here when I test out the inks themselves. But looking at these boxes, I don't see any signs of leakage. And again, these labels are really beautiful paintings and vintage photos. I love it. Okay, so that's the whole shipment. Not too bad. So the average cost was about $4 each before shipping. 
The Become Fish bottles were the heaviest, a little less than twice as heavy as the standard Pen BBS bottles, which have a higher volume. So if I wanted to place another order like this, I'd go heavy on the Pen BBS standard inks if they turn out to be good. Let's see. But first, the memory fish. This one is Soul, and as you can see, it's a nice vibrant blue, and as it dries, the sheen becomes pretty apparent. I'm swabbing all of these inks on Tomoe River 52 GSM paper of the old formula. This looks an awful lot like the Volga River ink that I did a video about a month or two ago. Now, you might not be as excited about this one as I am, but just watch and you'll see why I was so intrigued. This is Hope and Legacy number one. Right out of the bottle, it's a light turquoise, but if we wait for this to dry, Look at how nicely the colors are separating, and how heavily the shading is turning blue, while the mid-tones are more green. I think that's pretty awesome. And I hope you'll indulge me for a moment here while I point out some of the auto-translated comments about this ink that really sold it for me. Here's my favorite. Oh, oh, so beautiful. I love grapefruit forever, and the scum level can't capture its beauty. Indeed. Now I love grapefruit forever, for some reason. Anyway, let's take a look at the second Hope and Legacy ink. It's a much darker ink, and it's supposed to sheen, but mine doesn't seem to on Tomoe River paper. I guess I'll have to try their test paper. But it does shade a nice dark blue with mild green midtones and more turquoise highlights. Here's a close-up of the swab. This is the Memory Fish bottle of purple ink. I don't know if it's really called purple or violet or some particular shade or hue, but in any case, it's a nice color with a little bit of shading. And this is my final Memory Fish bottle. It's called Cyberpunk Neon, or something like that. The base color is this pinkish red, which starts to sheen as it dries. And you can see that it sheens this greenish gold color. And now, moving on to the Pen BBS ink, here's Tolstoy which is a medium olive green, which looks like it will also give us a bit of shading. And here's Pen BBS 95, which is another nice purple. This one is a little bit more of a grape purple. And in this box, we get Herr Beethoven. In this heavy little glass bottle with angular faceted sides. I love these bottles and they only cost about $2, so I should have bought more of them. Anyway, this is a nearly black ink but in the lighter areas, you can see that it's actually a very dark purple. Actually, it might not be visible in this video. Anyway, this is my second of these angular bottles. This one is number 435, which is called Cedar. And the picture on the box is pretty enough that I'm willing to overlook the fact that the pictured tree doesn't look anything like a cedar. Looks like a ponderosa to me, but I'm no expert. The ink is a dark brownish olive green, which is a very usable ink. I'm a fan already.
Here's PenBBS286. The name translates to something like Mountains by Moonlight, but you could call this ink whatever you want, and I would still love this deep, rich teal that sheens black when it dries. And everyone will recognize this. Here we have Mark Twain, the pen name of Mr. Samuel Clemens. And this ink is another nearly black one. But it's really a warm, dark brown that I think would look beautiful on ivory paper. Here's pen BBS number 382, a nice dark blue. And then there's this one with the blue lotus, number 512 which is a vibrant medium blue. And then number 514, which is a light blue-green turquoise sort of color. Okay, here we have number 515, another nice dark blue. The cool thing about this one is that where the ink pools, it has an unusual bronze colored sheen. If you haven't already noticed, I'm pretty much a sucker for any blue, green, or blue green ink. Here's 519, this one is also a teal. Hmm, seem to be having some focusing problems here. Let's move on to number 513. This one is a royal blue, leaning a bit towards purple. Though it's not really apparent in the video here. The colors in this video are generally pretty accurate, but on some of these subtle purples, they're a little bit off, even after using my color checker. Anyway, that brings us to the last bottle, Pen BBS number 507, which is a sort of dark mint green. Well, if any of you stuck around for all of this, I'm impressed. Your level of obsession must be almost as bad as mine. That means you've probably already subscribed to my channel here, but if you haven't, I hope you'll take a second to do that now. And of course, I hope that you'll give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this or found it useful. And that's it. Enjoy your pens and ink out there, everyone, and don't forget to actually use them. See you next time.